diphenhydramine is a medication that you've most likely either taken or given or you will absolutely give often in your career. Its trade name is Benadryl, right? It's You can get Benadryl over the counter. You can take Benadryl. Uh, but we also use it in the hospital and we use it with patients for a wide range of conditions. Okay, so the indication for diphenhydramine is allergy, anaphylaxis, sedation, motion sickness, and antitussive, okay? The reason for this is because it antagonizes effects of histamine and it can cause CNS depression. So what it really does is it's an antagonist of histamine 1 receptor. Okay, and by reversing the effects of histamine on capillaries, it can reduce the intensity of allergic responses. Now, it can also cross the blood brain barrier and antagonize the H1 receptors, the histamine 1 receptors, centrally. Okay, so this can cause some of our CNS depression. All right, so it can be used for a lot of things, and it's a very helpful medication, but there are some things to keep in mind here. Its therapeutic class is allergy, cold, and cough remedy, antihistamine, and antitussive. Okay. Some nursing considerations to keep in mind. We've already kind of touched on this. But first of all, you want to know that it can cause anticholinergic effects, okay? It can cause drowsiness, anorexia, dry mouth, nausea, chest tightness. It can thicken secretions. It can cause hypotension, blurred vision, headache. Okay, so kind of keep some of these anticholinergic uh, properties in mind, okay? Uh, You want to assess the patient prior to giving it. You want to assess the use. Why are you giving it? What's the reason for taking this medication? What's the purpose? Okay, so assess the allergy, assess sleep patterns, assess neurostatus, and assess the lung sounds. Okay, assess their cough. The patient should avoid any other form of over-the-counter cough and cold remedies while they're taking this medication. Okay, and it can have a, it's going to depend on the patient, right? I remember one time, I I had never really taken any sort of antihistamine before, and one time I I did take Benadryl, and it just leveled me. I remember about uh, 15 minutes or half hour after taking it, I was almost floored. Okay. I couldn't move. And that was taking like a half of Benadryl. Okay. So the medication can act differently for different patients, but keep in mind, it's a very helpful medication, but it can cause these severe side effects and it can really cause this kind of CNS depression in some patients. Um, and then just keep the, those anticholinergic properties in mind, the, the, uh, anorexia, dry mouth, um, Remember, it's, it's going, so what, what's the purpose of histamine? Well, histamine plays a role in inflammation, right? It's good. It helps to, um, it's part of the, our, our response to invaders and to infection and things like that. But what happens is as we give this medication, if it goes too far, the Benadryl is going to compete with those H1 receptors. It's going to antagonize those, and it's going to reverse those effects that histamine would otherwise cause. Okay, so very important medication to keep in mind, uh, and that is diphenhydramine. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to MedMasterCourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to MedMasterCourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.